Hey, how's it going, Taurus? Welcome to April 2018 Love Tarot Reading. Uh, first, I'd like to thank all of you for all those amazing views. I was kind of in shock. I wasn't expecting that and it was a lot of views. And thank you so much. All of you, Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising, thank you. Uh, if you'd like a personal reading, you can reach me at www.transformationempowerment.com and also on Instinko. Instinko is a great iOS app for reaching me the same day for, uh, you know, answering a question, getting into chat, phone call, video. Um, and then on my personal site, I have my appointments up, my availability if you want to get into a 30 minute, 45 minute or hour reading. Okay, so this reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Taurus. Please remember to check your moon and rising as this reading isn't going to resonate with all of you. All right, let's move on with the reading. I've already shuffled the cards. I've cleared them, so let's go ahead and let Spirit pick the cards. So we've got here the Ace of Wands. Wow. Ace of Wands. Just to me, Ace of Wands, I got starting over, um, you know, just moving ahead, leaving things where they are or behind. Uh, or, and I'm getting here with the Two of Swords. There is a decision that needs to be made in April. I feel that decision will be made by you guys or whoever's looking in on this video um, about a Taurus. And we've got the Moon. So let's get one more card, Spirit. One more card. This has something to do with traveling. Okay, I don't know if you've gone off to meet somebody and it didn't work out or you have been deceived by them. The moon is, a to me, a deceptive card. Okay, it just it's a card where, you know, somebody wasn't honest with you uh, or maybe you weren't honest with someone else. I feel like you do need to make that decision. Okay, the Ace of Wands, you were willing, you were willing to move forward on this, but the way things turned out... And I feel like you were either on a trip or you made a trip to see this person um, or this person uh, lives at a distance from you. But you're kind of just, ugh, you know, you've got the blindfolds on here with the two of swords. And your arms are folded as if you're protecting your heart. You're just protecting yourself. And But I feel like that decision comes in April. Okay, so I feel like you're going to make that decision soon. And the way the cards are falling, it uh, looks like you're making that decision to perhaps move forward. At least for now. At least for the month of April you are. We've got the Ten of Pentacles, which is a, the best card in the Pentacle uh, suit. And it just, it's a, a card of a lot of potential here. Um, this also, I'm getting a work relationship here. Like somebody cares about someone at work, but yet, um, hmm, I feel like maybe they either have betrayed you in some way or you uh, have betrayed them in some way, but I'm also getting gossip here. Okay, so maybe this was something you have regrets about. Don't have regrets about anything. Okay, because you know what? Um, everything is an experience, whether it's good or bad. And if you carry it, it as a regret, then it stays with you. You've got the High Priestess, which is telling me that you can just null and void this. <laughs> it's going to be in memory, of course, but null and void this through spiritual tools through a spiritual attitude oops sorry didn't mean to shake the video of course I'm still using not using my tripod um, so we got the world card here and four of Pentacles four of cups what do we got going on here I see travel. There's, there's been travel or you're traveling. Okay. So maybe what I'm seeing here hasn't happened yet. 
you can change this, okay, by changing the attitude, but also awareness. Be as aware as you possibly can. That's what I'm feeling. Because I'm feeling like somebody isn't being honest with you. Now, some of you are, are just thinking about a water sign. Um, I get that you're older than they are. And I feel like some of you are, are in a position of where maybe somebody walked out the door on you or is just giving a hard time in the relationship because they're younger than you or you're younger than them. So, you know what? We spend so much time judging such little things here. It might be big to the person, but it really has no meaning when it comes to love. Okay? There's a lot of relationships now that are uh, a huge age difference between the two. But if you're going to sit around and judge it, and there, of course, is the judgment card. <laughs> if you're going to sit around and judge it, it's not going to work. Because you're going to find everything you possibly can to fault it, to blame it. So Spirit is saying that, you know what, this relationship can work, okay? Now, what I'm getting, what I'm feeling here is there is also an air sign here that some of you may be involved with, okay? But I feel like there has been just way too much judgment. This whole row to me feels like there has been so much judgment. Okay, so here's the hermit. I pulled the hermit for this row here. I, I feel like this just needs space and time. There's potential. There's definitely potential here. But I just feel like it needs space and time because it's been so um, criticized, actually. The, we've got the Two of Cups here. So some of you are meeting... Uh, new people and I feel like some of this might be um, you know someone that is at a distance from you or from another country I also feel like this um, has to also do with um, the potential of moving I'm, I got moving to another country or, or to another city to be with someone that you've met that you're quite comfortable with Okay, there's the wheel. I got that as a confirmation that that relationship is good um, and that you will uh, definitely succeed. Okay, we've got the four of wands. So I really feel like this, this relationship here that's taking off is definitely soulmate, soulmate or twin flame. Okay, I love to get the four of wands because I split them. They're split in half. It's like 11-11. Okay, so what I feel like is you're being guided, guided by spirit to move into this relationship. Yeah, so I just wanted to pull some more cards on this last row here. So we've got the Eight of Swords, and this Eight of Swords is where I feel like, you know, there's a part of you that just, you don't know what to do. <laughs> You're just feeling so trapped and so surrounded by conflict. Um, I also feel like you feel hurt. There's pain here because of this, just the judgment of these two relationships, one with the water sign, the other one with an air sign. The air sign I feel is older and the water sign I feel is younger. Okay, but it could be vice versa or the, or the same. Okay, I mean, just kind of these are cards. So just using my guidance here, listening to my guidance, that's kind of what I felt. And there's the five of swords. You know, whatever you can possibly do, I just feel like you need to take a breather. All right, which is where the hermit comes in here. You need to take a breather because there's just way too much tension, way too much stress going on. Let's, you know, Mercury is retrograde. Let's not put more fire in the fire because it's retrograde in Aries and it will go direct in Aries. 
Okay, so I also feel like I'm I'm touching my mouth. I feel like the mouth, like, like we're just, maybe we're being a little bit, too, coming on a little bit too strong, just like the ram, just like, you know, coming forward and, and, and maybe the other party is, is very sensitive and uh, maybe uh, taking these harsh words or these demands or commands or whatever a little bit too, um, you know, too serious. But I feel like it will lighten up once you get towards the end of April. Okay, there's a lot of things I feel like you need to think about. A lot, a lot I feel the uh, your significant other uh, who I feel like is has either parted or is about to part. Now, don't don't get all upset because I just said that. Okay, because it's not going to resonate with all of you. But I specifically want to point that out. Okay, because I do feel like this relationship can be saved. It can. Without focusing on, you know, judging the relationship all the time. Age, race, culture, distance, whatever it might be. You know, just kind of let it go and let be, be in divine flow. All right, two cards came out for the top. We've got the justice, we got the death card. And now that's the road that I was talking about, the traveling, the deception, the heartaches, the decisions that need to be made. There's the death card. Could involve a Scorpio also. Uh, but it also, to me, represents a completion, an ending. But the justice card's involved. So this could have something to do with the separation, a divorce, or perhaps just wanting it to end. The Ace of Wands is trying to stand out in the midst of this. Giving the message that things are just not over. They're at a standstill. They're at this road of, uh, of, of wanting to renew itself. Letting go of all these issues and problems that I feel like are just, you know, they're there. They're there for a reason. Not all of them are true. That's what I'm getting with the moon. And at the same time, I just feel like it. It will work itself out if you just go ahead and just keep moving forward. Okay. I got that with the King of Pentacles. I feel like it will just balance itself out, guys. All right. Let's pull some love cards. What are the messages for Taurus? April 2017. Love, 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 love. We got past relationship. Love, love, love. What's the messages? My doggies are running around. So if they start barking, they want to be a part of the reading. <laughs> but Pistol, thank God he's recovered well, is really loud. So I feel like someone is coming back from the past. Someone that you may have known this lifetime. But it also could be someone that you had a past life relationship with. This person has children or you have children. I'm getting the message that this person is different than when you first knew them. And they want to start something with you. And I feel like it's the divine timing. Oh, beautiful. The divine timing for that to happen. Now, I can read this many different ways. So let's just do it, huh? Past life could be someone you knew from the past who was married or engaged, has children, wants to be in your life again. Could be someone that you knew from another lifetime or knew in the past, never got anything going. Both of you could have children, either or of you could have children. This relationship can blossom into a committed relationship. Woo, that one just flew out. Honeymoon. This is a holiday card. Not necessarily are you going your honeymoon, but you could be. Okay, marriages take place all over the world, all different times of the year. Um, I'm getting some of you, I feel like there are some trips in April. And I feel like some of you might actually meet your soulmate on this trip. And so, worth waiting for. 
maybe you've been single for a while and there hasn't been anybody in your life and you're waiting for the universe to give you something uh, that you've been praying or wishing for. I also feel that um, maybe you make this trip, you come back, and now it's like, okay, where's that person? You know, like maybe the connection between the two of you starts to wind down and... Um, and so I feel like, you know, you're, you're in waiting mode for this to transform or transpire into something. But I feel like you eventually get the message that, hey, you know what, maybe this isn't happening. But you've got romantic feelings. I Let's just ask the universe one more card. No, well, actually... It's going to connect again. The only thing is like meeting this person, whether you traveled there and you've already known each other and you started talking or talking again with the past life relationship, whatever, you know, just, I feel like maybe some of you are not sure if that person's committed. Are they telling you the truth? Um, either way that it goes, guys, you're going to wind up hooking up again together. Okay, that's what I'm feeling. All right, well, hey, I just want to thank again everybody for listening to my video. And please like, share, comment. I love your comments. I do take the time out to comment to you guys. Um, and all of you who celebrate Easter and Passover, happy Passover, happy Easter. Much love and blessings.